Hi, I'm Karen Friedman. A good deal of what I've learned about how to lead, I learned during my years as a television news reporter. Unfortunately, due to some serious competition, there was an atmosphere of do what I do, not what I say. And if I wanted your opinion, I'd ask for it because I'm the boss. So today I tell managers pretty much the same thing. Think about all of the worst bosses you've ever had and try to do the opposite. Most importantly, try to learn from them. Create an atmosphere of open, honest, respectful communications. Make people feel valued so they want to not only do what you say, but invest in your success. Here are a couple of tips. For starters, ask open-ended questions. These are questions that create dialogue, collect various viewpoints, and encourage others to express themselves. Questions like, what's your opinion? What do you think we should do about it? What do you think should change? What are your biggest concerns? Where do you think we need to focus our attention? It doesn't mean that you seek input on every single question, but it does mean that you prevent an atmosphere of us versus them. Tip number two, communicate early and often. If you aren't talking, somebody else is. And in the absence of information, innuendo and rumor often fill the gap. So what might have started out as just a little bit of office gossip can all of a sudden hit the internet at lightning speed in today's world of 24-7 instant communications and something that you could have controlled is completely out of control. Tip number three, say what you don't know. Finally, just because you're the boss doesn't mean you have to have all of the answers. It's okay to know what you don't know. Confucius said, and I quote, when you know something, say what you know. When you don't know something, say that you don't know. That is knowledge. It's also called leading. Until next time, I'm Karen Friedman.